This is really dumb. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 16th episode of the show, Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 221st episode overall, titled Honey, I Shrunk the Rangers Part 1. We begin this episode at the park where everyone is recycling and organizing items. The mayor of Angel Grove arrives, and apparently this event is called Beautify Angel Grove, and it's a part of the Angel Grove Cleanup Week and the team that collects the most garbage gets to donate to their charity of their choice. Everyone gets pulled into different directions, splitting up. Adam and Justin are together, and Adam says how they might actually have enough money to fund a soccer camp. Girl, that's not charity. Justin says that Ashley seemed pretty serious about a cheerleading camp. Again, not charity. Bulk and Skull are there talking about how they need to show everyone who they really are by winning the prize for collecting the most trash. Stone shows up getting them. Meanwhile, Deep Jox is underwater watching the Rangers clean up things and she sends Elgar up to the surface with Piranatrons because they won't morph in front of their peers. Elgar and the Piranatrons show up and Adam and Justin protect the kids from them and some dweeb tells Adam that he's scared. I mean, calm down, you can see the zipper on these guys. Adam sends Justin with everyone to a dumpster to take cover. That's lame cover. Adam then starts fighting off the Piranatrons and for some reason, none of these kids are impressed that their soccer coach can fight monsters pretty well. Justin tells Adam that they should morph, and Adam denies it because they can't reveal their identities. Why again? Because of the rules that some dude who isn't even around anymore? The Blue Centurion then teleports in, taking on the Piranchons and Elgar in an impressive fashion, doing flips and stuff. Elgar and the Piranchons retreat, and the Blue Centurion tells Adam and Justin that he's just glad to help. Then Divatox spits out a drink on the floor that creates a hole. Cool. She then gets into an arm wrestling match with Elgar, and she bitches about how Blue Centurion is ruining all of her plans all the time. The Blue Centurion is doing a final look around when a fly buzzes around him and then it lands on his neck and he starts to panic and freak out. Adam hits the fly away and they're confused as to why he freaked out so badly. Deep Talk sees this and she has an idea. She tells Porto to bring out the shrink sect who we are introduced to as a tiny little fly that buzzes around the ship before he grows to human size. Divatox gives him a soda can bomb and she tells him to put it on the surface. He turns back into a tiny fly again, carrying the can out because this show is that show. At the youth center, everyone is organizing the trash and Stone gives drinks to the rangers. Adam and Justin are updating the others about the previous attack. Bulk and Skull are bored of playing chess, which I feel like is impressive enough for monkeys, but they end up taking Stone's keys, disappearing. Stone notices that the monkeys are gone and he asks Carlos and Ashley if they've seen them, but no. Stone is like the worst monkey father ever. Then Shrinkasek tries to bring the bomb into the youth center, but he hits a glass door, dropping it. <laughs> then he goes for it, and Skull grabs the soda bomb, bringing it with them into Stone's car, and Bulk is attempting to drive. They back out and leave, and Stone comes out just in time to see this. Shrinkasek leaves to come up with a new plan. Then we see the monkeys driving through a neighborhood while Stone is running behind them, screaming at them to stop. Stone then sees a little girl on her bike with tassels going down the road, and he gives her $50 for her bike and helmet. You know, safety first. Of course, he gets on the tiny bike, pedaling after them. The Blue Centurion helps an old woman across the street, which is very nice to see that he actually does normal things besides just fighting monsters. Shrinkasek shows up, and he turns into a fly, landing on the Blue Centurion's neck, causing him to freak out, and he ends up tossing this old lady around as they cross the street, and the old woman is pissed and kicking him away. He's freaking out, screaming about Red Alert and how he needs help. In the power chamber, Alpha sees him slamming his head against a wall over the fly, and Demetria says to contact the rangers right away. At the youth center, the rangers are heading out for the park, and outside, their communicators go off. Alpha updates them about how the Blue Centurion's having a total meltdown, and they teleport out of there. They arrive at the park, finding the Blue Centurion, who is still freaking out. Tommy tells him to get a hold of himself before he self-destructs. Wait, is that what's going on? He can't get him to calm down, the Blue Centurion says he's preparing to self-destruct, Okay, and then he starts screaming about how there's a buzz in his head and they realize that there's a buzzing coming from the inside of his helmet. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull fire someone putting their trash on the curb so they back up to it and get it. They apparently put all the trash in the back of the car and the person just waves thanks to them. Dude just gave monkeys his trash. Stone then crashes into the sky falling down. Meanwhile, the Blue Centurion is smoking up a storm. Then Justin sees the monkeys driving by and Tommy tells Justin to go handle it. The other four take a hold of the Blue Centurion. Shift in the turbo for Justin. Justin runs after the car down the street. Meanwhile, the other four are still trying to get the fly out of the Blue Centurion's helmet. Also, Justin is still running, jumping on top of the car, but the monkeys aren't stopping. Justin tells them to stop before they actually hit something, and Justin has no idea how to get them to pull over. Then Tommy gets the Blue Centurion's helmet open, getting the fly out. Then the fly turns into shrink effect, and Tommy takes on the monster while the others get Blue Centurion to safety, but then Tommy realizes he can't do much, so he joins them. shrink effect reappears in front of them, and he fires at them. They use a trash can to protect themselves, and it shrinks down to miniature size. Then he miniaturizes the Blue Centurion. Dun dun! Meanwhile, Justin is still struggling with the monkeys while Stone follows behind. The rangers hide behind a car, getting ready to morph, and when the car is shrunk, the morphed rangers come out from behind. Then Elgar and Piranatron show up behind them, hitting them. 
Then the four rangers all get miniaturized by Shrink Sect, and Elgar walks over laughing in their tiny faces. He then goes to step on them. Meanwhile, Justin is still on this damn car and Bulk realizes it's a Power Ranger, so he pulls over. Stone shows up to take care of the monkeys and Justin thinks that's good enough. Like that's not how they got in this mess to begin with. Justin teleports out and reminded that the detonator is actually still in the back of the car. Justin shows up at the park and he can't find anyone, but he hears something very small and distant. Then he kneels down, finding a tiny blue centurion by his feet, asking him what happened. On the ship, Elgar brings a silver box in for Divatox. She opens it and the four other rangers are inside and they apparently have bug wings on them now. Divatox laughs in their faces while they stare up at her. To be continued. This episode's a weird one because this first part actually aired in May and the conclusion didn't air until September. So like, imagine this being your cliffhanger for months. Needless to say, it actually is a decent cliffhanger because Divatox has actually kidnapped four Power Rangers. Unfortunately, she did it because Justin was too busy trying to stop monkeys from driving a car because Turbo was that kind of stupid. I like seeing the Blue Centurion actually fight on his own for once, so I guess this episode overall is kind of a solid medium. So how will this two-parter conclude? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.